Hello, this is Katie from Katie Goes Platinum. Sorry to bring you into my messy bedroom, but being in Los Angeles, there is a very loud helicopter overhead outside. So we are stuck in here today. Anyway, I just wanted to bring you along on a little shopping excursion I did a couple of weeks ago. I have been going gray for a year now. As you can see, I'm about halfway through, I hope halfway through. Um, and now that my hair is getting lighter and more silvery, I need to up my game when it comes to color. Because as you know, uh, if you're going gray, it can suck some of the color out of your face if you're not careful. And I'm already a very pale person, so I've been experimenting a little with makeup colors. Obviously not today, but um, I've been experimenting with makeup colors and trying to put a little more color into my wardrobe. I was an art student back in the 80s, and as you know, that kind of consigned you to a life of only wearing black. Um, and I loved black, but now it's time for something new. So I went to my friend Carolyn's shop. She has a cute little shop in a place called Montrose, California, which I love. Sweet little town, just 15 minutes from downtown LA. And there's lots of cute little shops there. And if you visit Veruca Salt, you'll find a variety of stylish women's clothes, gifts, and shoes. And two or three shops down from there, there's a great Danish ice cream place called Paradise that I highly recommend. So I'll put links to all these things in the show notes. Um, I prefer to shop at boutiques because I'm not somebody who loves to go clothing shopping. I find it hard to find clothes that I like and that fit correctly. I'm fussy and I'd rather not wear almost anything than to wear things I'm uncomfortable in. So luckily for me, I discovered this uh, shop. I love it and she has lots of great stuff and the prices are good. And Carolyn was kind enough to let my husband and I do a shoot there um, about an hour before opening time a few weeks ago. So I'm going to take you on my little shopping excursion, show you like the experiments I was doing with color, and I'll try to film something at the end that will show you some of the things I ended up buying. Um, there, are, Some people think there are some hard and fast rules about colors you should wear with gray hair. Personally, I don't like any kind of hard and fast rules. I think you just need to experiment. I'll put a link to the uh, blog post I did recently about color and gray hair, and you'll see that there are women wearing all sorts of colors. It really just depends on your skin tone and what looks good with your complexion and your hair. That might change um, for some of you. For some of us, like me, I was what they call a cool winter in the color seasons uh, chart. And that means a lot of the colors that I look good in are colors that are often recommended to go with gray hair anyway, like uh, jewel-like colors, like sapphire blue and emerald green. Um, some people really don't think you should wear black, white, or gray, but I love those colors. And I've seen plenty of gray-haired ladies wearing all those colors and, or lack of color, and they look fantastic. So I think it just depends on you, your style, and what looks good next to your skin tone. So. Um, there's another lady on YouTube who did an experiment where she held up different colors next to her face. And I really think that's a good way to see what will look good on you. So I tried to do that a little here too. So I'll take you on this little shopping excursion. And let me just warn you in advance, um, when my husband and I filmed this, we're not used to doing video with my professional camera. So there's a little out of focus stuff going on here, but hopefully you can get through that. So, one thing I learned from another lady's gray hair video about choosing the right color is to hold up different colors. So, Carolyn, the owner of the shop, told me that mustard is the hot color this year. And so, I've never worn mustard. I don't think it's going to look good on me with my skin tones, but let's find out. So, and uh, for those of you who've ever done the color seasons, my color season is cool winter. I've got pale skin, green eyes, and formerly dark hair. And supposedly that doesn't change, but we'll see. So, what do you think, husband? Hubba hubba. Okay, let's, let me check, hold on. I don't know, what do you 
think. I can't say that it does anything for me one way or the other. I don't feel like it's awesome, but I don't feel like it's terrible. So let's try another one. This looks like my kind of color. I think that would look really nice with my gray hair. What do you think? I like. Okay. So this would be a keeper. You know, we just have to test. Also, it feels great. Now these two colors, I'm going to assume the pink would be better than this what is this color? Rust. Rust. So it all depends on your skin tone, your hair color. For me, I would go for the pink. However, the way things are going these days with the silver hair, probably would choose a hot pink. Okay? Now, this I like. Me likey. I didn't think I would like this because it's a rusty color, but maybe because half my head is still brown, I can pull it off. So, I might have to get this. It's soft, it's funky. I would not normally wear something this short because I like to hide all this stuff going on here, but I think it's okay. What do you think? So anyway, we just have to experiment. And as I told you earlier, I hate shopping. I'm not one of those ladies. I would rather go to a camera store, a camping store, a dog store, anywhere but clothing shopping. The only place I like to shop is this store here, Peruca Salt, because I love the owner. She has great stuff and it's forcing me to have a little more style than I did for years. You know how it is when you have kids and then you become a Boy Scout volunteer and next thing you know you're tramping through the mud wearing um, pants from REI and you know you're not looking so hot although I like REI don't get me wrong. So anyway um, but I'm trying to get back a little style I felt like I had before I got older. Okay so anyway I like this it might not fit into any gray hair rules of color, but I don't care. <laughs> Just realized I was wearing a black bra today, so I've got the Madonna thing going on, if you can see through this shirt. But anyway, um, this is a good color for women with my coloring. It pops. I love it. Have to get it. And it also talks about coffee. I love coffee. So, I'm getting this. Okay. Okay, whoops. Um, I don't think this is a good color for me. I think it kind of washes me out. Um, so I'm not going to get it, but I just wanted to show you. I think the brown, I don't know about you, but this kind of, I don't know what you call this kind of brown. Normally I would say poop brown, but that's not flattering to the shirt. Um, Milk chocolate. Yes, this, no, I don't know what you call this brown. So anyway, it's not my thing. I don't think it does anything for me. I like the shirt, just not the color, so it's going out. Probably notice I'm not trying on pants today because the whole point of this exercise is to see what will set off my gray hair. Obviously my legs are not close to my head, so I wanted to just work with shirts today. This one's also good, it's a nice Valentine's Day shirt. It's red, I love red, and I think it pops the silver. Of course I forgot to bring a hairband, I was hoping to show you with my hair up. But there we go. Red is a good color for women with gray hair, especially if you've got a cool skin tone. Although I, I would think anybody could pull off this color. We'll find out, okay? So, a lot of people say that you should avoid black and gray and white when you're going gray, but I don't care about that, do you? It's like, you have to do what works for you. I love black. And I like being warm, and I like wearing fuzzy sweaters. And I don't think this looks bad with my hair, do you, John? Not at all. Okay. So this kind of thing, it's fun. If you've had children, it kind of hides all this stuff that you got going on. And um, I like it. So I'm going to think about this. Uh, here I am sitting in this awesome chair. And I've got the same sweater on that I tried on earlier, but the um, color does nothing for me. So I will not be getting this one. However, I spied this cute pair of boots that I might have to think about. And the best part about Veruca Salt, by the way, is the prices are awesome. And I'm on a tight budget for clothes, but I can afford these clothes. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there because I might have to get those boots.
also bought this, um, I don't know what color you call this. It's, it's kind of a red, kind of a dusky red. Um, I think it looks good with the gray hair, and I think it especially looks good with the, whatever you want to call this on the ends, my faded brunette orange colored hair. Um, so I'm very happy with this. I like the sleeves. And the last thing I bought was that big fuzzy black sweater I had on, and it's in my car, and I'm too lazy to go outside to get it right now. But um, you get the picture. I didn't adhere to the rules of gray hair colors, but I think these all look nice. And I just think when you're going gray, you might as well just keep experimenting. When I go out in public, I kind of want to present myself as somebody who's not falling to pieces, which sometimes I am, and sometimes I'm sure I will present myself that way. But um, on a good day, I like to go out and at least show the world that a lady can have gray hair and still be fashionable. And uh, I'm sure there are many ladies much more fashionable than me, but you know, every little bit helps. So anyway, I hope this helped today. I'll keep posting about colors and experimenting and we'll try some new things together, okay? If you have any suggestions, put them in the comments below. Check out my blog, I'd love to see you there. And please make sure to hit subscribe. You can uh, click the little bell down below and get notifications when I have a new video. I will hopefully soon be having a video about my one year transition. So I love seeing you here and I hope this was helpful to you in some way. Thanks.